Quintus Smyrnius, also known as Coentos Smyrnius, was a Greek epic poet whose post Homerica, following after Homer, continues the narration of the Trojan War. The dates of Smyrnius's life are controversial, but they are traditionally placed in the latter part of the 4th century AD. His date is approximately settled by two passages in the poem, viz. Vi, 531 SQQ, in which occurs an illustration drawn from the man and beast fights of the amphitheatre, which were suppressed by Theodore C. S. I, and XIII, 335 SQQ, which contains a prophecy, the special particularity of which it is maintained by Tixon and Coachley limits its applicability to the middle of the 4th century AD. Some scholars suggest an earlier date in the 3rd or even the 2nd century. According to his own account, he began composing poetry in his early youth while tending sheep near Smyrna. His epic in 14 books, known as the post homerica covers the period between the end of Homer's Iliad and the end of the Trojan War. Its primary importance is as the earliest surviving work to cover this period, the archaic works in the epic cycle, which he knew and drew upon, having been lost. His materials are borrowed from the cyclic poems from which Virgil also drew, in particular the Ethiopes and the Iliopasis of Arctanus of Miletus and the Ilius Micro of Lesius. His work is closely modelled on Homer, though Quintus is universally acknowledged to be inferior to Homer as a poet. The Odisha Princeps by Aldus Manutius was published at Venice, 1504 under the title Quinta Calabri Derelictorum ab Homeru Libri 14. Venetiasa, in Oedibus Aldi, Aldus calls him Quintus Calabar, because the only known manuscript of his poem was discovered at Otranto in Calabria by Cardinal Bessarion, in 1450. His familiar name was first given to him by his editor Lorenz Rodoman, in 1577, who included a Latin translation by Michael Neander. There has been a renewed interest in the poet and his poem in the last several decades, with a new edition of the text with partial commentary and French translation done by Francis Vian, Combalac's publication of an English. Translation Alan James and Kevin Lee's detailed commentary on Book 5 and Alan James's well-regarded English translation, with newly edited text and commentary, The post homerica The first four books, covering the same ground as the Ethiopes of Arctanus of Miletus, describe the doughty deeds and deaths of Penthesilea the Amazon, of Memnon, son of Eos, the dawn goddess, slain by Achilles and of Achilles himself, and the funeral games in his honour. Books 5 through 12, covering the same ground as the Little Iliad of Lesius, span the contest between Aias and Odysseus for the arms of Achilles, the death of Aias of suicide after his loss, the exploits of Neoptolemus, Europhilus and Deophobus, the deaths of Paris and Enona, and the building of the wooden horse. The remaining books, covering the same ground as Arctanus of the Sack of Troy, relate the capture of Troy by means of the wooden horse, the sacrifice of Polyxena at the grave of Achilles, the departure of the Greeks, and the dispersal by storm.